This movie demonstrates how to remove and replace the yoke on the select drive leg. In the event the leg hits something, the yoke is intended to break first, rather than the drive leg. It's reasonably easy to replace the yoke, as we're about to show. In this case, the yoke is not yet broken, but there's a definite crack, which we're highlighting here. Before removing the yoke, you will also want to either lower the level of oil in the leg or simply drain it completely. Start by loosening the white fill cap on top of the leg and then remove the drain plug at the bottom of the leg. Use a 1 quarter inch Allen key to remove the plug. Have a large bucket ready as the leg is filled with 1.5 gallons of 90 weight oil. The replacement yoke will come to you already painted as well as drilled and tapped for attaching the hydraulic lifting ram. Use a 5 30 seconds Allen key to remove the two bolts and the lifting ram attachment going to the yoke. Next, loosen and remove the set bolts that retain the large lift pins on both sides of the yoke. Now loosen the clamp holding the bellows to the drive leg. Although the oil has already been drained below the bellows, you can expect some residual oil, so have some rags ready. To remove the leg, drive the lift pins inwards while supporting the weight of the drive leg. The pins are greased and should move easily. Back the leg off the bellows to remove it. Just be careful not to let the connecting spline drop to the ground. It may stay with either the leg or on the transmission end. Here's the spline in place on the universal joint, as well as the spline removed. And this is the bearing on the drive leg end. Now, on the drive leg, remove the pin holding the reverse slot claw to the leg. This pin intersects with the vertical retaining pin connecting the yoke to the drive leg. To remove the vertical pin, thread in either a 3 8 bolt or a slide hammer with a 3 8 inch thread. Save the white spacing washers when you remove the broken yoke. It's now time to install the new yoke. Position the white spacing washers top and bottom and slide the new yoke into position. Now insert the vertical pin so that the cutout in the pin will be facing the mounting plate on the stern. You may have to lightly tap the pin down into position. With the vertical pin in place, insert the horizontal lock claw pin and lightly tap into place. Don't forget to split the cotter pin to retain the claw. You'll want to remove the grease attachments from the broken, uh, broken yoke and insert them onto the new yoke. You are now ready to install the newly repaired drive leg. You may have a little struggle aligning the spline with the leg, so take your time. It may help to turn the propeller a little bit to align the spline. Test that the spline is positioned correctly by turning the spline to see that the propeller turns. The retaining pins on both sides of the yoke should be inserted with the cutout facing aft. If necessary, realign the pins and reinstall the set bolts.
With the lift pins in position, we can now reinstall the set bolts. Thoroughly clean and dry the drive leg where the bellows attaches. There is a groove corresponding to a notch inside the bellows. With the bellows in place, tighten the hose clamp around the bellows. You can now refill the leg with 90 weight high point oil. Fill all the way to the top of the leg and including the bellows. You can exhaust any air out of the bellows by massaging it while the oil is near the top. You can also ensure that all the air is exhausted by gently raising and lowering the drive leg. Lastly, top off the grease attachments to the top of the yoke. And that's it. We hope this movie was beneficial. If you have any questions, call us at 410-626-2720. Have a good day.